the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Today, even in the Easter season, the church celebrates the, what we call, obligatory memorial of St. Matthias. And the reason why it overtakes even a, an Easter Day celebration is the fact that St. Matthias was the apostle chosen to replace Judas, the betrayer. And so St. Matthias is numbered then from that point on as one of the apostles. And we always celebrate in the church the feasts of the apostles because they were those first followers and believers in Jesus. And in whatever way each of them eventually died, they truly were martyrs of the faith. And so the church always adorns them itself and its priests with the vestments and the colors of red to remind us that they shed their blood simply because they were followers and believers in Jesus Christ so that we would have the way to follow and a more peaceful way, pray God, but walking towards those promises that Jesus brought to us in the resurrection. And so we call upon the intercession of St. Matthias today, even in this Easter season, to instill in our hearts too, always the desire to do our best in following in the Lord's way. Even though there may be times of discomfort or difficulty, to keep our faith steadfastly in the ways of the Lord. For those times when out of human weakness we might have failed in doing so, we turn to the Lord God now and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
O God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it. And may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph, called Barsabas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. The responsorial psalm is, The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The, the Lord, Lord will give him a seat with, with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord, the Lord will give him a seat with, with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord, the Lord will give him a seat, seat with the leaders of his people. His people. <coughs> Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The, the Lord, Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord, the Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. 
This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that wherever you ask, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see in these readings today from sacred scripture on this feast of St. Matthias, how Matthias was chosen because what? In the words of the apostles, the other apostles that we see recorded here, recorded here in the Acts of the Apostles, the first reading, he was a witness to all that Jesus had done. He was with them from the beginning of the, at the time of John the Baptist throughout Jesus' public ministry and witnessed even the resurrection. And so, after prayer and guidance and the invocation of the Holy Spirit, Matthias was chosen to be the one to replace Judas the betrayer so that the number of apostles would remain complete and he would be sent along with the other apostles to continue Jesus' mission. The very same is what we are sent to do. We who have been with Jesus from the very beginning, from the day of our baptism, just like Matthias in witnessing Jesus' baptism and his life and wondrous miracles, we claimedly are with Jesus since the day of our baptism and are with him throughout our lives. And we too, from our baptism, are sent, and later in confirmation, even as young adults or adults, further sent to continue to be Jesus in the world and to continue his mission among his people. Do we do that? How well do we witness to Jesus. We are living in the reality of Jesus having come and of Jesus having resurrected as we continue celebrating in this Easter season. But do we really live that reality? Do we live each day of our lives aware of and appreciative of that and doing our best to live it out in our relationship with God and one another? Do we really witness to Jesus Christ? Or do we witness to the world or other things? We're called to witness to Christ. God bless you. The intention of today's Mass is for Joseph Riley. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Matthias, St. Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those receiving communion spiritually now we pray for and with you the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. you. Never, Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. Never cease, O Lord, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the lot of the saints in light. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. Thanks be to God.